Vegas 2009, reporting live from where are we? The Dean of Ed booth. And we're here with Tim. How's it going, Tim? Good. How are you? Oh, doing pretty well. What's the story? Well, we've got both the stiffest boot at the show uh, in Alpine Touring, the new Dean of Ed Titan. And nice. we also have the lightest boot at the show in the Whoa. Alpine Touring market with the new DNA. Whew. Well, bring in the beef. The Titan uh, answered the call. The Zeus actually rated uh, an independent testing. This stiffer. guy? Yeah, that is the Zeus. Uh, that was this year's uh, burly boot from Dinafit. The Zeus nice. rated is different than the factor from BD and independent testing. Yet BD is all about the down. Definitely uh, turned heads and the factor was a big hit. The Titan answers that um, discussion with just taking it beyond. The they Titan. look cool. They look very cool. <laughs> Certainly that uh, the Alpine customer at a show like SIA appreciates both the look of an Alpine-like boot, but also just the functionality. Stiffer polyurethane uh, makeup, so chemically we made it stiffer. We didn't add any weight in doing so. It was only 50 grams weight difference between a Zeus and a Titan, while the flex index of a uh, Titan actually does achieve what others were calling the 130 in the past, right. but this is clearly up to that level of uh, alpine race-like performance. Yeah, yeah, so it rides like a real free ride boot. It does. Cool. Titan's got a lot of secrets to how that happened. You know, one obviously is the polyurethane we made the boot out of. Polyurethane is what you make alpine ski boots out of. Pbax is what other companies make their boots from. We make the Zero boot line, the backcountry ski boot line out of Pbax. Pbax will lighten the boot up. PU is uh, what really makes a boot go downhill well and have a no. powerful flex that has a lot of energy in it. So as you flex this tight into the turn, it'll rebound you back out of that turn just as well. So a great, great downhill performance. But now that we know that secret, can't we just build it ourselves or is there more to it? Well, there's certainly <laughs> a little bit of background on uh, DinaFit. They make their boots in Montepaluna, Italy the home of boot making. That is where Scarpa, uh, Garmont, Del Bello, you name it. The good boots are made in Montepulli, Italy. Nice. They know a lot about making boots. They were the guys really who were behind the Garmont, Endorphin and Adrenaline and other industry uh, leading AT ski boots. But there are guys now. We definitely feel like we're having the right fit, the right flex, and the right secret weapon, which it's one thing to make the stiffest boot on the market, but you got to get it up there. As my t-shirt says, because there's no free ride at the top. Oh. And that's kind of Dean Fitz's thing right now. <laughs> we want free ride, we all do. We want downhill performance because that's where the fun is. Yeah. But you got to get it up there first. Cool. So Dean Fit believes that if you're going to ski first uh, fresh tracks, first descents, and bold lines, you, know, you really do have to get it up there first. Cool, and that's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to do it. Nice. So they're all compatible with all your uh, they're, fancy backcountry bindings and everything, obviously. They're actually the only one with triple binding, uh, the triple uh, binding sole. What that means is we have the DinaFit uh, insert in the heel and in the toe. Yeah. Not just any DinaFit insert, but the quick step in insert. These little metal wings right here will grab the DinaFit pins and slide them right into the hole. Oh, uh, okay. Easily allowing you to step in. Of course, it's uh, regular AT. Uh, plate binding compatible and right. these come off they come free in the box you know included in the price and alpine blocks pop right on oh, okay so they're just a bit uh, lower profile or something or well they're full plastic din certified, okay uh, right. alpine pucks so you can ski it just like your alpine boot with your alpine yeah bodies. nice last but not least the titan will actually flip open flip into walk mode and what it'll do is truly articulate not just forward flex, but aft. You need the boot to flex forward and aft so you can comfortably kick and glide while skinning and you, walk up the mountain. You just unlock the pivot there and now it can kind of... You unlock the pivot, you yeah. loosen the buckles, put it in tour mode. If my right. leg was in here and able to move it back and forth, right. you'd see we have... A little too stiff to pretend? It, it is. Mm -hmm. You'd see we have this, the furthest uh, articulation in any free ride touring. Cool. Hold on, that looks pretty, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, what else? What's the funniest thing you've seen at the show so far? Well, day one, there was a trend for uh, women to forget to wear their pants. Whoa! I think it was just these, the dresses are getting shorter. In Vegas, they've taken it to the limits. <laughs> Titan will uh, hit the markets this September, and clearly will be the talk of the town uh, in the boot tests coming up in the next few weeks. 